My mom was an amateur photographer when I was a kid, and I remember just taking her Minolta back in the day. And I was always just sort of fascinated looking through the lens. I was super into skateboarding and snowboarding, and I was able to talk my parents into starting a, a family-run business when I was in high school. So we opened a skateboard and snowboard shop, and I managed it. From there, I got a job in a window and door factory. I got better and better, and I moved all the way up to where I was building these custom entrance ways that were, you know, 50, 60 grand. During that time, my wife got pregnant, and I decided that I didn't want to be a lifer in a factory. And I spent about a year just kind of doing some soul searching. The only thing I could picture myself doing forever is taking photos. I just wanted to have a camera in my hands. That sort of sparked in my mind an interest that maybe this is something I could do as a career. I started shooting abandoned buildings in my spare time, these old decaying churches and schools. That's actually how I got my start. Saying, you know, if I'm pretty good at shooting these ugly buildings, I can probably shoot something beautiful as well. I announced I was going into business, and the only way to really develop a style and to get better at this stuff is to try and try and try and fail and try. I would see a really amazing kitchen, and I would make the, the set of photos I needed to deliver the next day, and then I would ask for an extra hour, and I would try to light it differently or try to compose it a little bit differently. Start shooting the stuff now that you want to be shooting a year or two from now. When I was actually just getting started in this business, I just used to go to the bookstore and I would grab four or five shelter magazines. I would look at these photos and I would always wonder what makes them different. I would try to reverse engineer how they were lit and that's how I started to develop my style. A style where it's wide enough and it's showing an accurate representation of the home, but it's got more of a design type feel. Part of that came from just studying these photographs. Let's go. One photographer, his name is Brandon Bari, he's based out of Toronto. His work, it really spoke to me. And as luck would have it, I was shooting a home in Toronto. He happened to be shooting the home next door and I was able to meet him and I reached out to him the next day. He replied and said, you know what, Barry, I had a look at your website. Awesome work, I really like your style. The big confidence boost for me was seeing that he's doing the exact same thing I'm doing. Deep down, I really like to help people. There's been people that have helped me along the way and I think it's really important. If you see that someone's willing and able, and if you can help them, I mean, you know, it's for the greater good of everybody. I love doing online consulting. I love running workshops. I love the opportunity that I've been given to do this tutorial just so that I can help people get better. I really, truly, I, I love it.